up with my money, he could get shot right down. I can't do no shows, cause I terrify my city. Drill him. Let's get him crunk. Chill. Let's get him crunk. Like Chill. and subscribe. Nick. Real Murray TV. Chill. Chill. Okay, guys, the drill culture, the drill movement. Members, a lot of members, man, from the beginning. A lot of people lost their life on this stuff, man. Um, we got JoJo right here. You got a lot of people from the beginning. JoJo, the two girls. Uh, OD, Lil Mark. Oh, Fathead, Polo, if I want Polo, nigga from Dog Pound, nigga from Face World, Brick Squad, Lamb Run, MOB, you got a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, Nooski Gang, Nooski, you got a lot of people, man, uh, Sosa Gang, you got a lot of gangs, man, there's so much to talk about in the drill culture, and the reason why these guys or get it talked about different from other cities because you know there's a lot of drillers in other cities and movement it's because these guys had people like Lil Dirk, Chief Keith, King Louie, um, FBG Duck, King J, um, Jojo, 051, you had Melly you had people that like when they passed you got people that were associated with them so people start to follow the people that's under them the people that's around them when we watch these guys we want to know who their hitters is um, what they about and stuff, you know what I'm saying, the drill was just going, man, I was just hearing about Chief Keef so much, just so much, to the point, I was just like, man, who this nigga is on the south side, doing his thing, man, um, his name just ringing, cause you know, niggas weren't thinking about that, niggas weren't thinking about this and that, you know what I'm saying, you get in my way, you're out of here, uh, but then you just start hearing niggas names and shit, start hearing about what they do, they getting at each other, you know what I'm saying, start retaliating on each other, STL and um, O Block, you know what I'm saying, 600, 051, going at each other, man, at a young age, it started off that school shit, the beef and that shit, a lot of them niggas got their ass whipped in school, yo, so um, a lot of them got their ass whipped, a lot of fights broke out, and then a lot of niggas took it to the street and got the guns, a lot of niggas that was in, uh, that, that y'all see lost their life early, don't think they lost their life for uh, being innocent, them dudes was doing things, Tuka was a, a fighter at school, he was a wrestler or something, you know what I'm saying? Lil Mark them. They were beasts, man. They was like fighters, man. Uh, some say Lil Mark had a body. Don't know what Tuka did. Like the mamas and daddy, all of them see like Scrub Daddy and Mama Doug and everybody get in and say this and say that. A lot of these guys did things they don't go and tell their mama. K.I. Okay? They couldn't tell their mama. Mama, I just killed a man today. Oh, I just shot a bullet in a man that was already dead or something. They can't tell you that. Like TB, can't get right. I mean, get right. Um, T. Roy, all these guys, HK, a lot of these guys did things, big A, and stuff, man. They dying right after they do it, or later on, or after they commit another drill, J Money. You know what I'm saying? If you wow and you dangerous, you can die harsh too. You know what I'm saying? Like they saying, J Money, T. B. T. Roy, all these guys did their thing, but they they had to suffer for that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't talk about that. All the stuff that comes with it and comes around with it. And um, Scrap, man, OD, all these guys, man, died a long time ago, but they name keep talked, being talked about because it's new members every day. And it's people that still fighting their battles and their wars and shit. People still fighting for OD. People still fighting for Old Melly. People still fighting for Scrap. People still fight for all these new people. You got a new cousin every day that probably didn't get to meet. They bigger, they cousin from back then, but they grown now. Like, y'all gotta understand, a lot of people was 10, 9, when King Lil J no went in, but when the King J came out, people were like, oh, who the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? They see, they just know he got a king in his name, and he came back when King Vaughn was, uh, after King Vaughn got killed. They were like, okay, got another king, just got out of pen, what's going on with him? But you know what I'm saying? The shit that happened in jail kind of tarnished that or whatever. But yeah, um, the movement of the drill, man, continue, man. We lost a lot of big names, like the E Days, King Vaughn, Duck. Um, got a lot of them going into the jail, like Kid O Montana, um, who was THF Bayzu, all the guys going in. THF lost a lot of members, a lot of their good members. They got members, but they lost a lot of the people that had names and stuff. And then MOB lost all their names, but they still got MOB, Scrap Gang, J, E, and all of them. 
you got No Limit, you got um, you the North Side, you got Pat in them over there. You got a lot of game day ops. You got a lot of stuff going on. I don't too much speak on the Out West, but I'm gonna start doing a lot of them next year or whatever. But you know, yeah, these guys right here, man, Capo, he lost his life. Like to, to an MTG guy, I think, remember, I think, uh, Chief Keith and OD right there, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys, man, you have to be around a certain member. You see a lot of guys coming out, I tell you right now, I never got a chance to meet this person or that person. And the whole time you think they were, they was cool because you see Boss Talk with Chief Keith, then you'll see Boss Talk with another member that Chief Keith probably don't fuck with or it's a lot of that goes around. Like a lot of people didn't know Trey Savage and all of them. A lot of them did, but you see them with Memo with 600, but Memo didn't know them. You got a lot of different people that don't know each other. 600 Breeders just came out and said that, that a lot of us hangs around a certain member, but we really not cool. And we don't know each other. We haven't been around each other, but we fuck with the same niggas. And we represent the same set. You got a lot of GDs and BDs and Stones and all that in the same clique. That a lot of y'all don't know that. You, like some say, um, j Main BD. So, and you got uh, Brick was BD, you got some people over there, you said Blood Money was a GD anyway, but he was representing with the BDs over there going against the GD, some of them, and then, you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying, what went down, went down. Who knows what really went down? There's a lot of stories on some of these guys. Through the four or five stories coming out, what happened to these guys? But a lot of y'all know what happened, and some of us watching, some of us didn't drill a couple people, and they watched this drill stories and stuff. They see everything. Some happy that it get brung up that another person did it. Some don't. Um, yeah, little JoJo kicked it off. You know what I'm saying? He was. I actually wish he would have lived a little longer because he was making it fun, not killing. Because if he was a killer, he wanted to kill people. He could have got Reese. He could have got Dirk. That video out on Dirk that was you chasing Dirk them down at night, and then he, he had a chance to pull up on Reese. And he had a chance to get Reese. He had a chance to get a couple of them, but he didn't do that. They should have just boxed it out. The little reason they were feeling, they were letting motherfuckers know they, they ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? And Fredo, all these guys, they, they, they was really like that. Man, Fredo did a lot of things. Y'all think he just saw his name, he didn't do this, he didn't kill nobody, man. Fredo don't want to put in work. They were putting in work in the street and they kept it quiet. Niggas didn't say their names too much. Tato no one off and said it, but you know what I'm saying? Fredo got mad about that shit. There's a lot of hitters, man. A lot of them. Everybody mostly did something. Some people say, why you do a story and say, this person hit it, this person did this, this person got this. Man, because a lot of them did the same thing. They do the same thing. It's just about who get to who first and who got who. You know what I'm saying? Mainly with terrorizing people. And then a person that probably got one body or never hit a body probably got him. Or other people, you know what I'm saying? Maybe some people saying like TV was becoming this type of hitter. You know what I'm saying? He said, King Get Right already had his name. So, you know what I'm saying, TB would be coming in vicious. They said TB killed his friend. Who knows? All these guys, man, is doing things. Boss Trail had a big name. He died early. He don't get talked about enough. Uh, a lot of these guys, man. You got people like Ocho and them survived a lot. Ocho, Prince Drake, been around so much shit and survived. It's crazy. But, man, you got Rondo and them. You got all them guys. Rondo is coming out now that Rondo and C-Day were in a lot of shit. They was putting in a little work back in the days, man. You always thought Rondo was just doing it, just talking in a rap, but he was really doing his thing. And how Breezy get respect. You got a lot of family member connects and shit like that. He switched both sides, too. Fred was a GD, then went to BD, who knows. But um, a lot of niggas connected, man. Got certain clicks and shit, and then you associate with that. If you associate with the BDs, you pretty much winning right now. But the GDs, is scary. They dangerous. And the Stones, better watch them niggas.